episode of Fighting with the Baron. Sorry, yesterday I had some technical difficulties, so we're doing the class again today. This is, of course, Florentine. Now, I usually go and have Florentine and Polearm together as part of repel work because the main reason is instead of just doing repel work, you have to actually use at least a two shot combination with both Polearm and Florentine to really start to get it to understand it. So that's why I lump the two together. Sometimes I also do break weapon because it's make sure you have the angles that is best for your thrust okay now like I said whenever you practice with Florentine you always have two weapons right when you first start fighting though as I said you have a nice little shield in your right hand because you need to fight with your off hand I'm going to say lefty because that is my off hand so I put a shield in my right hand and I practiced as if this was a shield. Throwing shots, step, throw, strike, okay? You do that so you get a good understanding of the muscle movements with a sword, it's going to be a little bit different because you're not just having a shield and you're sh kind of moving the shield a little bit and throwing it around. You also want to make sure you have the capability of either doing a secondary strike or a block. Okay? So this is why, and I'm telling you this now, do this first when you start practicing. Okay? Best thing to do is throw same side, same side shot first. Okay? So you're going to go, we're going to go right side, right side. When you do this, throw with your off side shot first. Most people will want to go and say, all right, I'm strong on the right. I'll go like this and then like that. And they're going to say, wow, that shot was really weak or really weird or it didn't feel right. 
going to take a while to adjust up. You will adjust up faster if you throw the offside shot first. So you take a step and then the strong side shot second. Exact same thing over here. Step and then strong side shot. Do this first. It's going to make your shots stronger to begin with. You're going to get the muscle memory earlier. And your shots later, if you have to throw this and then that, you're going to go, oh, boy, that was a really solid shot. Because you've already muscled memory into how to throw that shot. So throw the offside shot first in the combination. So the two shot combination. Always start two shot combination. Same side, same stuff. Throw, retreat, strike. Throw, retreat, strike. When you retreat, and this is what's going to come later, it's essentially doing a third step, which is a block. You want to be able to just doing this and then doing this. It's not solid, not good shot. But if you throw, retreat back. You get your body into an angle where you're going to be able to throw the second shot strong. Okay? So, quick review. When you have quarantine, one should be thrusting tip. When you're there, you want to make sure you always keep the thrusting tip in front. Rotate the tip to make sure it stays in front and you got a good stance. When you start throwing, throw with weak side first, finish with strong side. And don't throw, place, throw. This one doesn't stay here. So make sure, and you don't, don't hit and drop. It's not a drop. Boom, bring it back so it's open and clear. Because the one thing you don't want to do crossing your swords. Please to God, do not cross your swords. If you want to cross your sword, please fight me. I'll be very happy to fight you and totally destroy you. Because all of a sudden, if you try and cross your swords, all you need to do is take this one, bring it back, and it binds. You have no capability. Some people are like, oh, I love doing that because they're going to do that, and then I'm going to swing across. Okay, maybe, but you only have like two, maybe three shots possible ever from that. So you are trying to entrap me into the possibility of maybe two shots that you can throw? I know that. I know that you're going to throw them. And I know how to counter against them. So don't cross your swords. All right. After you go, same size, same size. Now, I want you to do one side, opposite side. And you can do either way. So you can go, all right, I'm going to do this. As you can see, even my sword back here, I accidentally hit it. So go like this, throw like this, step back, throw like that. You can go low. Ways first. starting to develop the understanding two shots same side 
one shot opposite side or cross side, one shot same side. Okay. Everything starts to build. All right. Now, when you start doing this, you also need to start coming in with some of these with thrust capability. I don't have thrusting on here, like I said, but we're going to imitate that I got thrusting on my left. So what I would probably do, and one of the shots that I usually like to throw, I come down here like this, and as soon as they step in, usually everyone throws, they're going to step in with the right side. I drop this down. As soon as they step in, I'm going to rotate in so the thrust is going into the body. Boom. And then I finish with an arm shot or head shot. Okay? Now these are going, I'm doing this as if I'm fighting against a sword and shield. Different techniques, different ranges, and different shot combinations and styles will be Florentine against Florentine, Florentine against pole arm, Florentine against great weapon, Florentine against dagger and shield, because at that point it's all one has range capability and the other one doesn't. I'm not also going to talk to you guys about wrap shots in Florentine yet. That's much more advanced. You need to start with the basic shots, which is what I'm telling you. And the basic shots are always going to be two shots to, to include striking or thrust strike. Now, you can also do the, I'm going to go high to the opposite side. That's going to raise the person sword and shield combination up, at which point that's going to give me a second shot, which is the thrust. So I'm already moving in that direction. Boom. Try and do two at one time. You're not going to get enough force on either one for it to really count. Or if you do, the person's going to say, you know what? In real life, that would never have worked. So I'm not going to take it. shot that's low or I'm going down low to make him drop the guard to throw the shot to the head or the arm this is where potential fakes really come into really good play okay so the same side starting with the weak side shot first then cross body I talked to you before, if you're going to throw a shot, boom, you pull back for a guard, which essentially is the block. Now, example is, I'm going to throw the shot here, and then I'm going to intentionally, and you have to make it in your mind, strike, block, strike. So, you actually have to say in your mind, or out loud, it doesn't matter, like I said before, if you want to do something, say it. If you're having trouble stepping, you say step, and then you have to step. So if you're going strike, block, strike, exact same thing. Or strike, block, strike. Those should be the two, up to three combinations you should start with for at least five months. It's gonna take a while because it's different than fighting sword and shield. It's different than fighting pole arm. You have a lot of possibilities, but you're usually moving so much that you don't usually plant securely enough for it to be a solid shot sometimes. Sometimes it's gonna be glancing. 
Sometimes you're going to be going, focusing, all right, I'm going to be doing all of this, da 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 da. And you forget you have the other sword. It happens. All of a sudden it's just out here or it's hanging. And you're like, oh man, I had a thrusting capability that I could have done tw two shots with. I didn't even remember it. Because your mind is thinking too fast, right from the start. I want you to get out of that and concentrate on the two combinations. And the third combination is only a block between the first and second, okay? The next thing you should do, as I say, is write down combinations you want to try. All right, I want to go and do a strike block thrust. All right, I'm going to do a strike, and as you can see, as I moved, I actually should have turned my wrist the other way. Step, strike, block, thrust. Okay, that seems kind of awkward. Why would I do that against the shield side? Probably not, but if someone is coming with me at pole arm, and they're trying to do a headshot, I can go and do a simple, instead of the first strike, they're coming in, I'm going to go and do a block thrust. So, at that point you realize that combination might not be very good, but in a pole arm it'll probably be better if I do a block thrust. Alright, then you practice that. Starting tomorrow we'll have some more classes and it's going to be uh, slow work, no armor, one-on-one. -on -one. So all that means is I'm going to start figuring out how I'm actually going to be throwing shots on someone. Here at first we're going to do same shots, okay? One person is going to throw a shot, the other person is going to block, then that person is going to throw the same shot. Then you do a two minute drill, which is one person blocks for two minutes, one person attacks for two minutes. Then you do simultaneous shots, which is I throw high head, automatic block. My opponent throws the exact same shot. I block and he blocks the shot that I just threw. So you understand that the same movements, whether you're attacking and then blocking, is the exact same movements as blocking and attacking. Then, after that will be the fourth iteration. That is unplanned footwork. Sorry, a lot of people out today. Unplanned footwork is, all right, I want you to attack me half speed, and I just want you to see, all right, he's throwing here, how would I block it? And as soon as I block, figure out, all right, I'm going to attack first, same thing, attack, defend, attack, defend, and then same thing, two minute defend, two minute attack in unplanned fighting, okay? This is where you build up from figuring out how to fight to figuring out the shot and the force and the movement to, all right, now I'm fighting against the person, I now have to understand better range because it's just not a stationary piece of wood anymore. Then it's the how do I plan for unplanned stuff. And as I said, we're going to be going into a lot of these slowly, but I will end this class with this bit of information again as always, a quick recap. Always at least have one thrusting tip on your swords. Always make sure you keep one down usually with the thrusting tip to have range. Then you start always practicing two shot combinations to begin with. From the two shot combination, same side, opposite side, single, same side. Okay, get those down and then come up with combinations no more than up to three, the three includes a block. So right side leg, block high for arm and body, step, now, that was a wrap shot. I'm not teaching you a wrap. Step, throw for the leg, throw for their arm. That type of thing. So come up with a series of combinations you want to try against the pal for later on to work on with actual people. So, two more things.
more things. Uh, this week and next week we'll be doing some more fighting and everything like that. After that, I'll be teaching classes on dancing. So you will then see Dancing with the Baron. We will still intermix it with Fighting with the Baron, but we're not gonna do dancing and fighting with the Baron at the same time. That's a much more advanced class. It's gonna be kind of fun. We're not here to hurt people, just here to have fun. So, as with always, I keep saying, if you have any old videos, please send them to me. I'd love to review them. If people start fighting again, Please, I say for your own benefit, record it so you can rewatch it. Rewatch it from a third person point of view on the side. Figure out your movements, what's working well, what's not. And send those to me too. I'd love to critique them if you want. I will do my best and I will try not to be mean at all. I'm not that, I'm not trying to be that person. Just trying everyone to be a better fighter so everyone can always increase their fighting. Thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow.